guys, thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. As you can see by how the cards are, I'm here to do another intuitive reading. Even though they all intuitive readings, you know. I'm just going to pull the cards like I did in my other videos, okay? Because I really did enjoy how that went. Like, I was like pretty excited to be doing that. I'm like, okay, okay. Your girl be alright. But send me you guys peace, love, light, and protection if I did not just say that. <laughs> Let's hop straight into this and see what's going on for you guys. Shout out to y'all, my old subscribers, my new subscribers. I really, really, really do love y'all. Like, do you hear me? I love you, okay? I love you. Like, seriously, I love y'all. I don't need to know you to love you. You a woman, baby, I love you. You a man, I love you. As a person, I love you. We are all we are moving as Age of Aquarius here. I really do hope to get some like Age of Aquarius messages. Even I just to write down some more messages on my cards and stuff. I gotta make a new deck. I gotta make a more um like a humanitarian deck. Because I don't know, for some reason right now I'm feeling the energy very heavy right now. That's why I'm expressing how much I love y'all. And I don't, need, I don't need to know you to say I love you. I mean, who, who don't want to hear those words, I love you? And why do you gotta wait to hear it from somebody that's deemed to already love you or know you? You know, this is about all of us. We're all connected to each other. I don't see race. I, I don't really see gender or anything like that. No. But let's, 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 let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. Divine ancestors, angels, so mine's for yours. What do you want to talk about right now, divine? Our great mother and great father. What do you want to talk about? I'm so excited. I like doing this. <laughs> The mystery. I love mysteries, y'all. I don't know about you. Ooh. Why we had to start off with something like that, huh? Someone was left to clean up. Left to clean up what? Oh, my gosh. Somebody was left to clean up some type of scene or something? Mm-mm. What else? What's going on with this reading? Child, we got targeted from birth. So what was somebody left to clean up? Something where you, there was like some type of setup? I heard something about some type of setup. I don't know why I'm hearing that clean up woman song. Clean up woman is a woman who does all the things y'all young girls leave behind. Hmm. This guy has something to do with a woman. A woman in your family? Something about your birth, y'all. I'm gonna something about somebody's birth. Wow, y'all. Like, I'm picking up on a house fire. I'm picking up on, like, a, a, a some type of accident. But something that was staged here. So, like, literally in you. Yo, I don't, I don't like that. What's going on? Well, this is Age of Aquarius. Age of exposure. The truth is coming out. Ooh, we what goddamn? Okay. We got to show no mercy. I kind of got a download with the card just flipping over like that. Like, uh, something about a stack. Something about a stack. I just saw somebody like just throw somebody a stack of money and just leave to clean up something. Show no mercy. Yeah, I don't know what this is so far, but I really am picking up on some type of accident here that happened when you was a child. You could have been into like a car accident or something. And please, like, trigger warning while, while I say these things. Or like a fire, a firehouse accident or something. But it, I'm, li I'm saying an accident that was deliberately set up, though. And someone was left to clean up. Let me get, let's, let's get some more here. Let's get some more. What else? Here. Oh, my God. We got revenge. <laughs> oh, so we on some cutthroat energy today, I see. We on some cutthroat energy today. Somebody will seek some type of revenge on you. But I'm also getting here, though, is that whoever this was that was left to clean up, 
They're seeking revenge on whoever they, whoever asked them to clean up. I'm also saying they did this out of revenge. I'm also hearing something about the Avengers. You could be like an Avenger. You know, these stories, these are like Marvel movies and stuff. They have a lot of truth to them. And they're talking about our powers. Mm -hmm. These psychic abilities, that's a power. Okay, what else? What else? So I'm like baffled in my head right now. Like just, like just, I thought like that's how somebody else is right now. Okay, I didn't want this uh, Archangel card. My hand ain't really on that card. I want this one. Car crash, y'all. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, let me find out that somebody thought somebody put their own life in jeopardy. What? Somebody put their own life in jeopardy? Well, it don't even have to be that. Some of y'all was in a car crash, y'all. Like, I said, I literally said I was seeing an accident. I was seeing an accident. I wasn't seeing like no, uh, like, like no, like, uh, like an M word, like somebody tampering with somebody's body or anything. I'm saying like somebody trying to, like, literally they was trying to clean up an accident from some type of uh plane crash or like a fire. It did car crash come out. Oh my gosh, some of y'all was in some type of car crash that was supposed to end you when you was a child. And it could be at any age, any age. If you ever been to a car accident, I'm not saying this is not gonna be for all y'all, so don't be delusional when I say this. But some of y'all was in the car crash that was planned when you was a kid. Yo, it's crazy and fucked up on so many ways. What else? Childhood trauma. Spirit, like, don't show none of these motherfuckers no mercy. Don't show nobody no mercy. Even though, like, if you're somebody like me and you understand how the world works, so you don't hold on no resentment or anything like that towards anybody who ever harmed you, I advise you really not to do that. Really go inside, deeply heal, and forgive these people who, who, who damaged you in some type of way. And forgive yourself for, for the damages you did to yourself and for the patterns that you kept repeating. Even if you're still repeating some of them patterns to this day, don't be too hard on yourself. Take it one day at a time. You still perfect. Shit, I mean, not perfect in a way where it's like, you know, oh, I'm perfect, blah, 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 but you're not flawed. The world is set up to make us think that we're flawed so we can change everything about ourselves and place our value on something outside of ourselves instead of looking on the inside and seeing how valuable we really are. But like at the same time, it's like you you can think like this and know that it's like you can know why your family is attacking you, why certain people are attacking you on a deep, deep level. But because we still live in this world, show these motherfuckers no mercy. I'm telling you, you some you done been through a lot of stuff when you was a kid. It didn't have to be anything like. It's different for all y'all. I don't even want to talk about it. It's different for all y'all. Let me just say that. I just want to keep going. What else? Ooh, we got trigger warning. Oh my gosh. Hmm. And I said trigger warning. Is there a song named trigger warning? I'm picking up on the song. I don't know why I'm hearing Remy Ma. Something about Remy Ma. I don't know why I'm like, I'm not hearing me on. I don't know what that's about, but I'm hearing me on. Um, let's keep it going here. What else? They really didn't think you were being watched. Wow. This shit is crazy. Somebody tried to end your life in a car crash. And your guy saved you. Thank you so much for saving the collective. Thank you so much for continuing to look over the collective and protecting the collective. And collective, you need to make sure that you're always walking in your protection, knowing that you are protected. Even if there are certain things that you can't do for yourself, 
Like, if there's, like, people throwing magic at you, you're not able to do that return and center magic, like, counters and stuff for your stuff like that. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. Times are changing. Let me tell you what you really need to do. What you really, really need to do. You need to walk and knowing that you are protected. And it's time for everything that we have on the outside of us, it's time for us to bring all that to the inside and know and walk in, yes, I am protected. And I'm going to walk around this planet the way I want to, the way God needs me to, healing people, but also, you know, watching out for certain things, but not ducking and dodging and living in fear all because there's somebody out here trying to target you. Know that that shit can't hit you, walk in it. Walk in and knowing that something can't hit you. And if it is allowed to hit you, you best believe that there's something that you need to work on. If you feel like there's, you've been attacked in some type of way, there's something that you still need to work on. Shit, I still, need to, I still got stuff I'm working on. Everybody has still has stuff they're working on, but you're still a good person. You're still worth it. You're still worth it. <clears throat> Yeah, you are really protected here in love. And it's mainly because you ain't did shit for half the stuff that you didn't been through. But it ain't even about that, y'all, to be honest. Because when you look at your birth chart, like, when I first studied my birth chart, and I learned that it's literally damn, it was really damn near predicted for me to go through the things that I went through in my childhood. Because I'm like, damn, this was already in my birth chart. All I had to do was just, I could have looked at this damn birth chart when I turned two years old. And I would have still went through the things that I was destined to go through. Your birth chart is literally a destiny map for you. That's why it's so accurate and true for so many people. It literally explains every single thing that you've been through and you're going to go through. Ain't nothing, is, ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything is repeating itself. Time is repeating itself. Ain't nothing new under the sun, baby. All we doing is remembering. All we doing is remembering. That's it. Some of us, just, our memories are better than the others. And those of us, we're the ones who's supposed to be pushed out into the spotlight. There's a new age of leaders that's getting ready to come into this world. It's already happening. But it's going to be on an even deeper level starting in 2025. Yeah, I consider myself to be one of those leaders. I sure the fuck do. Mm -hmm. We need more caring and compassionate leaders. Leaders of this age of Aquarius. Y'all know every time the age of Aquarius come around... This like this is it's the time for destruction. It's the time for humanity. It's the time for you know resetting old systems. The last time that it was in Aquarius, Pluto was in Aquarius. I said I keep saying age of Aquarius, but I mean, what I mean to say is Pluto in Aquarius. But age of Aquarius is important too because you know. But the last time Pluto was in Aquarius was during the Revolutionary War. I think it was another war too. It was two different wars, but it was in the, was in the 1700s. That was a long time ago. But every time Pluto get in Aquarius, there's a war that happens. There's always a war that goes on. So don't live in fear, but prepare yourself. This is one reason why it's so important for people to listen. You have to listen to God. So listen to... Yes, you got to listen to God. But what I really mean to say is your intuition here. Because God connects to you through your intuition. So really listen to your intuition because you're going to need to be put. You got to know when God's trying to put you in a certain area here. It's about to be a lot of shit that pop off. Shit going to get bad before it get good. Okay. And motherfuckers don't think they're in the goddamn purge. I'm telling you. And I, and I say that because, like, whoever this is is after you. Like, baby, they are after you. Okay. But like I said, you are protected and I ain't trying to scare nobody or anything like that. But, baby, you got to know thy enemy. And baby, do you got a lot of them? And yes, a lot of them do come from your bloodline, your family. That's what it is. Yeah, let me get one more. <clears throat> you said you want war, let's go, nigga. <laughs> Like, why did I just talk about war and then, oh my God, so you ain't worried about nothing. They want war, well, let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay, glow. <laughs> somebody going glow on somebody. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Taking on them headlights. <laughs> you don't get
give two Fs out here. And you shouldn't. And spirit wants you to feel like this. Well, let's go. You want war? Let's go. Because you ain't fighting by yourself. Okay, okay. I'm so glad they came out. I'm so glad they came out. Because, <laughs> baby, I'm about to be like, what the hell is going on here? Even though I already know that you're protected from all of this. You know, don't go back and forth with nobody like this, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You cannot go back and forth with somebody like this, baby. It's just, it just them harvesting your energy. When you go back and forth with people in situations like this, they're they harvesting your energy. I ain't saying you can't stand up for yourself now or get them a little piece of their own cake. But don't do the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Say what you got to say and keep it pushing. All right. Well, let me clarify this. Clarify if someone was left to clean up. Clean up woman. It was a woman. It was a woman here. <clears throat> it all falls down. Ooh, somebody about to bring them down along with everybody else. Oh, yeah. It all falls down. I got this. Uh, I got that from um, Kanye's song. I don't even remember how it go. I'm trying to remember how it go. Let me see something. Keep having to go to YouTube to look up certain stuff. It's something about the, uh, something, I don't know the whole song by heart. But it's something in the lyric that's very significant for this video. I can't believe I would assume they're talking about that war. And then I pull that card out. There is a war that's coming. There's something about that. Yeah, like, because, yeah, yeah, because as times change, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I said all that. What I say? Like, so, like people going to feel like they're in a the purge because, like I said, it's going to get ugly before it get pretty, y'all. Because the system is changing. The system, not only is the system changing, but it's, that's why astrology is so fucking important. Because nobody is actually predicting anything. We are already given the answers to the past and the future. We are already seen the future. Go to the past to know what your future is going to be like. Follow the planets. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, there's a, there was a war that happened. And because we live in the time that we're living in now and Pluto going in Aquarius, yo, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of discretion. Regardless of who becomes president, it don't matter about none of that. <clears throat> Cause this is time for the people. It's like the people. I don't know why I heard the People's Choice Award. <laughs> the People's Choice Award. Like there's gonna be a change in leadership, government systems, the school systems. That's, that's a lot going on. But my main thing for saying that is, once these times get to coming and stuff, people are gonna go berserk, and whoever's after you is gonna feel like they they can come after you. But little did this person know you are being fucking watched, and this is somebody who's been talking who's been targeting you since birth. And this don't have to be your mom or anything. This could be anybody. I'm not even picking up no specific person, to be honest. It was just somebody in your family here. It could be more than two people here, too. I feel like it's more than two people. Someone was left to clean up. It was more than two people. And they probably had other people involved. Let's keep it going, though. Clear if I targeted from birth. Why was the collective targeted from birth? Is you a genius? I don't know why I'm seeing psychic abilities. I still love you? Wow. So you targeted me, but you still love me? I guess. Hey. Some people's definition of love is sick behavior. Who am I to judge? It is what it is. But you have every free will to not to have somebody like this around you. Okay, let me go through these lyrics. Kanye. It all falls down. It 
This song came out 14 years ago. That could be significant. They got 81 million views. Or could they say 87? I'm not too sure. So talking about 14 years ago could be significant. This could have happened 14 years ago. You could have been 14 when this happened. Or eight, four. I'm getting those numbers. Eleven. So my own numbers I'm getting. Okay, man, I promise she's so self-conscious. She has no idea what she's doing in college. The major that she majored in don't make no money, but she won't drop it. But she won't drop out. Her parents will look at her funny. So it's about choosing you. Don't tell me that ain't insecure. The concept of school seems so secure. And I'm just talking about school. The concept of school seems so secure. Sophomore three years ain't picked a career. Can I just stay down here and do hair? Wow. It's about somebody giving up on themselves, basically. It would seem like. Let me keep reading the lyrics right quick, y'all. Cause that's enough money to buy her a few pairs of new ears. Cause her baby daddy don't really care. She's so precious with the peer pressure. Couldn't afford a car, so she named her daughter Alexis. So I mean, I have kids. Couldn't afford a car. Yeah, this is about somebody just doing bad. Whoever this is, they're doing bad. She had hair so long that it looked like weave. Then she cut it all off. Now she looked like Eve. And she be dealing with some issues that you can't believe. Single black female addicted to retail. And well. Mm. I play this song is speaking about whoever one of the people that's involved in this. That's what it seemed like. Can I find show no mercy? It seems we live in the American dream, but the people highest up got the lowest self-esteem. The prettiest people do the ugliest things for the road to riches and diamond rings. It's so crazy. The road rack no rags and riches came out of my last video. But okay, living the American dream. I'm telling you, bro, like, so this song is like really speaking. It's speaking about more than just this person here, I feel. Then it's also speaking about the world. I was just speaking about school and war and America and how the systems are changing, leadership's changing. And a lot of people that are high up do have very low self-esteem because they are trying to people please each other. They're living for one another. Mm. So somebody here can be very pretty here too. Somebody don't like how pretty you are. Okay, if I show no mercy. Show no mercy. Why show no mercy? <clears throat> they feel like the only way out of this is by speaking to you too late. That's why spirits say don't show no motherfucking mercy. Because these people want to war with you and they only trying to get back around here. So they can finish the job I just heard? Yo, okay, you got some boldness. Okay, you bold, bold. Somebody atheist here. Because I'm out here to see how protected you are. But they don't, they don't care. They don't care. That ain't even them no more. It's a demon child. They ain't even them no more. We shine because they hate us. Floss because they degrade us. We trying to buy back our 40 acres. And for the paper, look how low we are stoop. Even if you in a bench, you still a nigga in a coop. Ooh. I'm saying like, that's why people, I was also speaking on people's value. Everybody value is changing. This is more than just, this is a deep read, y'all. <laughs> I like it. Because I'm speaking about more than just the issue with you and your family. I'm also speaking about the issue that's going on around the world. I like that. Because I love people. I love all people. I don't give a damn if they're good or bad. I love all people. Because I'm not wired to see 
you know, somebody do bad and like just automatically judge them, even though I do realize now that I must use my discernment and my intuition to not get fooled because just because these people, just because I understand how these people are and I see the potential within them don't mean that in this 3D world that, you know, I can play Captain Saber, you know? <laughs> but I still love all people because I understand. That's why it's so easy for me to brush things off, move forward, you know. Nothing phases me. I know how to let go really easy. I got to learn how to let go. I was just speaking about death to somebody the other day. Like, it's very important for everybody to learn how to let go. And to, yeah, I'm just saying, you have to learn how to let go. Because it's going to be a lot of, like, the, the, the death y'all seeing now is going to be nothing compared to what y'all, what you're going to see as the years go on. Because the planet is cleansing herself. Y'all have to realize, like, you see all this damage we doing to the planet? The water, the resources, the minerals, the, the just the earth plane itself. Like, we, we're damaging her. And we're allowing them to damage her because we're using her resources, but we don't respect it. And we're not putting it back into the climate as a whole. She needs a reset. This is a very deep message. Care about this revenge. Why revenge? You want my revenge. Baby, because you was born a star. <laughs> That's why you've been targeted since birth, because you was a star. So somebody's mom could have definitely been involved in something here. Don't have to be, though. Everybody's mom ain't like that. I say up the police, that's how I treat them. We buy our way out of jail, but we can't buy freedom. We buy a lot of clothes when we don't really need them. Things we buy to cover up what's inside. Yeah, I'm telling you. And that's another thing here, because we're like we're becoming light beings, whether we realize it or not. And I don't know if some of y'all noticed, but this is happening like all over the world too. A lot of millennials and like Gen Zs and stuff are becoming minimalist. But the reason why we're doing this is because consciously, most of us are like star seeds anyway. Most of us are nothing like our parents. We was born different. And we was born with that minimalistic like mindset here. And it's because we are we we come here with a deeper understanding than our forefathers, our parents before us, that the world is changing. And that the world needs our assistance. So we automatically learn how to let go. And because we're letting go. We're going to teach our kids how to let go as well. We hold on too tightly to so much stuff. And it's because of how we've been raised. This is, all, this is all about how we've been raised. You know, the system that's been put inside of us. Because <clears throat> they made us hate ourselves and love they wealth. That's why Shorty's hollering where the ball is at. Drug dealer by Jordans, crackhead by crack. And the white men get paid off of all that. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Wow. You're somebody here that's very important for this time that we're living in right now. Just like I feel like I'm important for this time that we're living in. You're somebody here that feel that exact same way. You know that you are one of the world's next great leaders here. Because you actually care about people. And Pluto and Aquarius need people like you. The earth need people like you. Yeah, you want to be one of the next leaders. You was born for this. You're a star seed. So I'm not a star seed here. I'm not too sure which star which star uh, constellation some of you are from. You could be from Siren, you know, Orion, Lyran. You could be from either one of them. Okay, what about this car crash? Clear about this car crash. Mm -mm. Why are you teasing me? Well, that ain't right. I think I need to turn around. Depth is coming. I think it's more like it, okay? <laughs> Depth is coming. I thought somebody wanted to end you. This could even be somebody sick in your family. Like somebody that tried to like, okay, trigger warning. Yeah, trigger warning. Yeah, this could also have been somebody that like harmed you as a kid, if you get what I mean. What is why are you teasing me? Yo, what the heck? 
So somebody could have planned a crash for y'all to keep you from shed to keep to, to shut you up from talking about something. It could also be that too. Mm -hmm. What about childhood trauma? What about childhood trauma? Oh, we got 144,000. I told you you were important during this time. And it's another reason why you went through a whole bunch of childhood trauma here. And this is why I say, like, for, some, for those of you who still don't understand why you went through all this, it's because you're meant to heal. You're meant to heal certain things in your bloodline. And healers have to, some, I feel, I feel like a lot of healers go through this. In order for you to learn how to heal, especially depending on what, whatever field you're destined to heal in, you have to know what that pain feels like. Some of you are meant to help heal kids. Well, as a child, you were destined to go through a lot of pain. So you can see what that pain feels like. So you can help kids. That's why I keep saying nothing new is under the sun. Everything is repeating itself. You got to understand that we are bigger than what we think we are. More important than what we think we are. This shit get deep. It, it gets deep. Because, like, if you also believe in, like, um, choosing, if you believe in the concept of choosing your life before you get here, there's also, like, a, um, a, a saying that goes, I don't know if some of you ever heard this or not, but where you and other people in your family here, like, group up, and y'all choose who's going to go through the trauma, who's going to inflict the trauma on each other. Like, we choose these things when we're in our soul, you know, when we're not, um our spirit bodies before we reincarnate here before we incarnate on this 3d reality if you believe in that i'm just being told to talk about it some of us choose the things that we're going to go through when we get here but when we get here we don't remember we don't remember and this is why i said remember some of you are remembering that you chose to go through this but i'm not saying it's your fault or anything You've just been brainwashed to not think of the world the way the world actually is. It was another reason why this age of Aquarius is exposing a lot of things. How the world actually is. This shit is really real. It's really true. Because damage has been happening on this earth plane for so long. There's been different reincarnations. There's been different... There's, there's been a lot of destruction for centuries here. And there are some people called star seeds. I feel like that's what this is, like star seed type of energy called into this planet to like bring it to a more 5D, to help cleanse the planet. Some of you were called in during this lifetime to help cleanse the planet, okay? But depending on where you was meant to heal in the planet is where you experience a lot of trauma. Now that's, that's just what I'm being told to say. That's what I'm getting here. I'm just speaking strictly out downloads that I'm getting. And I'm so glad this came out for this song when I looked up the lyrics. But I ain't even gonna act holier than thou, cause F it. I went to Jacob with 25 thou. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I went to Jacob with 25 though. Before I had a house and I'll do it again, cause I wanna be on one of system park pushing the bins. Now I'm getting some of these lyrics. <laughs> One hundred six and park can be significant. Yeah, that one hundred six, six hundred one. Yeah, I, I showed six hundred one in my last video. Some of you could be from Mississippi here. I'm from Mississippi. I want to act ballerific like it's all terrific. I got a couple past due bills. I won't get specific. I got a problem with spending before I get it. We all self conscious. I'm just the first to admit it. Oh. Yep. That's where you come in at. You're somebody here that's not afraid to admit your flaws. You get, so you could have had a lot of people that feel like you was better than, thought you was better than them and things like that. But all that is like 3D. It's 3D reality. You need to figure out who you truly are so you can start seeing the world in a different way. You cannot see the world the way other people see the world. To them, you think that you're better than them. But you know more about the mission than they do. When y'all came to this lifetime for some of you, that's what, this mission is real deep. When some of y'all came into this lifetime here, you already knew about the plan, but everybody else was blinded about the plan. And it's a 
of y'all like just I don't know I'm gonna share a video with y'all that explains it a little bit more what I'm talking about this woman that I watch I'm saying I've been at the topics like this for a very long time a very long time I've always been the type of person since I was a kid asking like always asking myself why am I here why am I here what is my mission I've always been looking for my why and that's another reason why I found it we got three different stages that we go through in life that have us questioning our life. That first stage is between the age 18, the next stage is in, in your 30s, and the next one is in like your 50s. Three different times where we go through our solo returns, where we question life. And people don't already know about this, but they don't, they, they don't know what it's called. They know that they do things like this when they turn 18 or 30 or 50. They go through these crises and stuff, but they don't know that it's called a solo return. And this is why astrology is so important. Because if you can study it before your solo return, then you can know exactly what you're meant to do. And this is another reason why I was able to catch it. Like, this, me doing tarot is a part of my calling. I did tarot in the past life. I definitely did tarot in the past life. And I was meant to do it this lifetime. I'm already walking to my purpose. But this is one of my purposes. This is one of my purposes. And this is why it's so important to, to listen and actually want to learn more. And just, yeah. Let's keep it going. What about this trigger warning? Oh, we got hands up. You're protected here. Somebody could be triggered by your protection. Care about that really didn't think you were being watched. Yeah, you protected. They didn't think you was protected. We got toxic Capricorn. So there's a toxic Capricorn in this situation here. Care about you said you want war. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Talking about all your life, people have been trying to get one over on you. Look at that, not no more, not no more. And but see, that's why I say, you know, even though you may understand what happened before we came here, and you're starting to understand it even more now because of the information that you're looking into, you still have to look at the fact that we in this 3D reality. So we still can't be around these people. So I may say whatever I say, like in, in you know, in crazy ways and make you laugh, like a little sassy and everything like that. But I don't want you thinking about it in a very toxic way when it comes to like speaking on situations that happen to you and speaking on people. It don't have to be in no toxic way. Because you understand why people have been trying to get one over on you. And if you don't understand, you, you're starting to understand. It's because you're powerful. And you have to realize that. And it's their job to help you realize that. Because God needs you for a bigger purpose than wherever you are when you be, when you getting attacked. You're getting attacked here because you need to wake the hell up. <laughs> you need to wake up to your powers here. Okay. Do I want to clarify and get some more cards? I really don't, to be honest. But I will. I'm going to use this deck. You got worry here. Clarify it all falls down with someone who's left to clean up. We got confront. Childhood issues. Man, this is somebody else here that's confronting their childhood issues. And somebody's very afraid of you confronting them here, too. You know what I'm saying? Something about when you was a kid here. You're remembering something that happened to you that people probably don't think you remember. What about I still love you? We're targeted from birth. We got disruption. Yeah, even though somebody here is very disturbed by your light, deep down inside, this person loves you. And you want to know why? Because on the soul level, they understand why it's happening. They just don't understand in a 3D level. 
But the more time goes on and the more big you become, the more you do for yourself and heal, the more people are going to be put out of their own box, their own illusion that they've been put in over you because you were supposed to see first and then they were supposed to see. It's like, um, is, this, is it Moses? I think it's Moses. He was, sold, he was sold into slavery by his brothers. But ultimately in the end, they came to like honor him. Clarify they feel like the only way out of this is by speaking to you. Too late. Show no mercy. Oh, we got to move along in reverse. These people do not want you to move forward here just because you're standing in your power. Just know you got to do what's best for you, though. They do not want you to move on. You got people really afraid of you moving forward here. And it's because they feel like they're not going to be able to be around you. You're going to be around your collective family here, the people that are just like you, healing the world. What's this moving on in reverse? Why is it in reverse? Child, moving on came out again. They don't want you to go, but baby, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go, baby. You like, fuck that, I got to go. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I get it, you don't want me to move on, but guess what? I'm moving on. I ain't showing no mercy. No mercy. Wow. You know what's crazy what I'm getting here? Because they both got different numbers on them. This moving on has eight on it, and this one has six. This is the one that came out in reverse. Six is like representing the uh, harmony. Forget what all six means. It's something about, I'm getting something about family, though. I don't know. I'm just one of my family. But whatever. I was about to say something, but <laughs> kind of about this born a star with revenge. So we got truth with spread your wings. Mm-hmm. You could be saying two two two. Two oh two. Something about two thousand two, I just heard. In 2022, some of y'all could be 20 with a two year old. I'm just, just getting some downloads here. That's all. Truth will spread your wings, born a star. Yeah, some of you are finally starting to see the truth about who you are. And it's also going to cause an effect for you to learn the truth about something here. Yeah, you was born a star. It's time for you to spread your wings. Be open. Go out there and venture into the world. God is like literally speaking to you. Fly, birdie, fly. Fly, birdie, to your freedom. Heard something about freedom. Freedom. Heard about this death that's coming with car crash. Oh, somebody could be dying from a car crash here too. I just heard. We got positive movement forward. Somebody's about to transition here, y'all. Abundance. Okay, some of y'all got some type of like curse on you. Somebody could have put a curse on you. And it's like for some of you, like these curses are only gonna be uplifted by death. What's this hundred forty four thousand here with childhood trauma? Perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. It's like hearing no so much in your childhood that to count up for, you have to tell yourself yes. You could have been like a very cocky kid here too. But even though people told you certain things, you ain't listen to them. And you can't wait till you get older. <laughs> Clarify hams are here with trigger warning. We got share the love. So these people are triggered by you not sharing love with them no more. They was really feasting off of your energy here. But you being protected here. You made these people feel protected here too. 
that's another reason why they don't want you to move on because you make people feel protected here. Yeah, with mental conflict and freedom, they are so worried about you moving on. Yeah, well, choose your battles wisely. It's right behind freedom. All right, why did I ever go to war with this person? Care if I talk to Capricorn with, um, they really didn't think you were being watched. Yeah, there's a Capricorn here very worried about your destiny. Very worried about your destiny. They really in their head here. We got worry, love, judgment, forgiveness. This is somebody that didn't think that you knew what you wanted to do in life. But the whole time, you always knew. You're proving a lot of people wrong here. Clarify, you said you want war. Let's go. All your life, people have been trying to get one over on you. Not no more, though. You're not playing against people no more. We got recent child. You got people reconsidering coming for you. Choosing their battles wisely. You got people reconsidering coming for you. Now they fighting with themselves. As they should. Oh, wow. All right. Let me get ready to close it out, y'all. I'm going to do one more to close it out. Let's get one more to close it out. Thank you so much. Trying to invade your dreams. Everybody's trying to invade your dreams. Why somebody trying to invade the collective dreams? People sense wicked energy on you. They don't get it. So there's a type of fiery energy in you that people sense. Somebody's trying to invade into your dreams here. Just to like, because you, mm -mm. I don't know what that person got going on. Clarify this. What's this? Let me see. We got new beginnings. See, they, they think the energy on you is wicked, but what they don't understand here, I feel like that wicked energy that people are like feeling from you is that it's some type of fire within you being lit. It's something in you that's being lit here. So you can step into your destiny here. And I find that only reason, another reason why they only saying this here is because they just don't. Some people, somebody could be saying that you're doing magic here or something. Which I ain't no selling. Somebody here wants you dreaming about them though. Some of y'all are not ready to walk through a new portal. You getting ready to walk through a new portal? Yeah, I see a lot of success in somebody's future here. A lot of success. Give me something for the collective here. What you want the collective to know moving forward when it comes to their life? Damn. Say what you believe in is demonic. Too many cards, though. So, all right, somebody feel like you're doing too much, but they're not doing enough. What's the important card here? What's important? What you want to talk about? Okay, it's Spoke ill will over you and you had no idea. But you know now. I was expecting a different type of card, but I guess. What else I want to pull from? I said I won't. That's all, that's all I was going to get, though. <laughs> and here I am over here still trying to pull. Still trying to pull. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. No, nah, I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get it from here. Let's get it from here. Let's get one last important message for this reading. Oh no, they did not come out. They didn't come out. It sure didn't. <laughs> but look what's on the back, though. You protect people when you when you around them, when they're around you. So this is what I really meant to show y'all. You protect people when you're around them. I hope y'all can see that. Yeah, 
Yeah, babe, you've been taking people you're around now. That's another reason why I don't want you to move on here. That you ain't people pleasing no more. <laughs> Some of my cars fell up over here. Look at that. Stop people pleasing. Stop people pleasing. Stop, stop listening to them. You ain't listening to people no more. What they got to say about you. I feel like you never did, to be honest, though. That they just been hip to it. That you don't really listen to nobody else but yourself. Your intuition. All right, you guys. I'm going to close it out right here. I really do hope y'all enjoyed the video and take something from it. And I'll see y'all in the next one, babes. I'll